Hi there, wanted to give you a little bit of an overview on Rally Blitz Navigator Pro. Over here you have your odometer, you have your cap heading here. On the free version you can adjust the odometer via the settings menu. So you can slide down this navigation bar, go to settings, the three bars, then you can adjust this up and down. We'll get back to the settings menu in a second. Cap heading automatically adjusts from the orientation of the iPad. From this, the bar here at the top, you have the ability to go load files. So in Navigator Pro, the a full version, you'll be able to load PDFs for the roadbook. You can also load GPX or RBX files to manage your waypoints and the mapping functionality. So here we can load a PDF file. And then we'll also load the GPX file for the waypoints as well. So once we have our, our PDF loaded here for the roadbook, we can scroll it forward, size it appropriately. Then we can pull down this menu and lock it. That will keep it from uh, scrolling around side to side. Up here at the top, this is your, these are, A is your um, trip meters. So you have an A trip, you have a B trip, you have your speed in the center, and this is telling you the waypoint that's active. If you click on that waypoint, the this is in the, the full version, the list of your waypoints come up and it'll, it'll actually show you which is active. And it's actually showing this one active because the, this one is actually the closest to where our location is right now. So if we go into, uh, we scroll to the top here, when we look at the mapping function, you can pull that up and it's gonna ask you to confirm whether you wanna get to the map mode. You can turn this on and off, but this actually uh, let's the anybody that's running an event count the number of times somebody's accessed the map mode for uh, penalty if they want to uh, issue some penalties on map access. But you can see the waypoints here loaded into the map mode. So uh, we're not actually lo near where this roadbook is, but if you were on the on the um, actually writing the roadbook, and you, this blue dot would actually show you where you were in relation to the the waypoints. So give you a little bit of an opportunity to kind of get back on track. If we go into the settings menu, you'll see that we have a, the ability to adjust stage A with the buttons here. Um, and in the next version of Rally Navigator Pro, the full version, you'll be able to uh, adjust it manually from the, the main screen as well. You can adjust the B total. You can see your waypoints and turn them on just like we did uh, from the other screen as well. Uh, here you have the audit log to show how many times you access the map. So again, uh, someone can see how many times in the past 24 hours you access the map and assess some penalties associated with that. In the settings menu, you'll see that the first thing is a cap heading filter. So anything below about eight miles an hour, it uses the magnetic part of the iPad to get a cap heading. So this actually cuts down your noise at very low speeds and you can adjust that. You can use miles or uh, metric, you know, kilometers. You can you can make it so the system only shows tenths, so you'll, some riders prefer to not show the hundredths column. You can create a passcode so you won't uh, accidentally reset the B if you want to use that for cumulative. We have the option to scale the odometer, so some uh, roadbooks that are set up uh, using uh, odometers, mechanical odometers, they're a little bit off, right? So you might need to adjust this to 1.02 or 0.98, depending on whether your roadbook is reading high or low. And you can, you can do that on the fly. You can stop and adjust the scaling. And it'll adjust it. Uh, you can turn off the waypoint guidance. So the guidance that pops up when you get close to the waypoint and guides you in. Again, that's in the, um, in the, the full version. And here you can actually turn off the confirmation for accessing map. So if you're just out riding with your friends and you want to access the map and, and cheat a little bit without having to click through, you can turn that off. You can change the, the colors, um, you know, of the background and some of the numbers. And this also has an audible alert when you are approaching waypoints and when you're approaching uh, triple exclamation mark hazards or speed zones. If you have those set up appropriately, you can have an audible alert to be able to manage those. That's a quick overview. We'll get to some more detail in another video. Thank you very much.